Samyang's AF V series of full frame autofocusing cinema lenses for Sony E mount is already popular, and now joining their existing 24, 35, 45, and 75mm comes this. 100mm T2.3 lens. It is small, in fact it is exactly the same size and weight as the others, but it is still very small for a wide aperture 100mm prime. Does it deliver good results? Does it work well? Is it a lens for you? In this video I'll answer all those questions and tell you more about this lens. Keep watching to find out more. No other brand has come up with something like this. T-stop, not f-stop, cinema lenses delivering consistent optical performance across the set as well as identical external build but with autofocus. Cinema lenses are usually big and manual only. These lenses from Samyang break that mold and give us something different here. This 100mm adds bigger telephoto reach to the set and also that specific look associated with this focal range. It is a little bit more unusual focal length and less versatile than the 75mm already in this set, but one that can add extra reach when needed. This lens, this focal length is great for portrait type of shots, interviews, talking heads. It creates really nice compression when the background seems closer to your subject than it really is. And if the distance between your subject and the background is right, you'll also get spectacular blurred background bokeh too. This also makes this lens great for shooting products, events, and even landscape. It will also suit shooting medium and close-up shots or shots that need more subject to background separation. Unusual focal length that needs sometimes very specific application. On its own, it could work well, but it might be a little bit limiting in tighter spaces indoor. It is, however, a fifth lens in a set to expand further its focal range, the, the focal range of all set. Minimum focusing distance is about 70 centimeters shorter than usual for a lens like this. There's very little focus breathing visible and chromatic aberration is not bad either. Although the image it produces matches the other ones in the set, this one seems a little bit better when it comes to focus breathing and chromatic aberration. This might be just because of its focal length and how it works and the fact that the aperture is not as wide as it is with the other lenses. Yes, the other lenses in the set are all T1.9 when this is T2.3. Small difference, but it is a difference. I'm Doug Crampton, chef at 8 at Gears Gill. I'm a chef because I'm passionate about food. I love cooking with amazing produce. Here at Gaze we've got amazing organic meat. We're using local amazing cheeses, uh, different charcuteries. And I just love seeing the diner's face when they eat the produce and eat the amazing food that we've created for them. The food that we're gonna be cooking here is gonna be produce driven, cooked very simple over wood fire, getting maximum flavor, but also creating a few surprises on the plate. Overall, it delivers really nice results, very cinematic look, autofocus works great, and it's a very easy to use cine lens, one that doesn't feel like a cinema lens for sure. The autofocus and the form factor really make it also suitable for photography too, if you are a hybrid shooter. No need to change lenses to grab few photos on a filming job. Really good portrait lens too. Built. Same look, same size and weight as all others in the set. This allows you to change lenses in the rig or in a gimbal without the need of readjusting anything or rebalancing. It weighs just under 300 gram. It is a lightweight lens. It is auto-focusing lens, but it can also be used manually. It has got built-in small gears, smaller than usually on the Sony lenses, but still working with any standard follow-focus system. However, there are no hard stops focused by wire, but the focus ring acts in linear way, just like a standard cine lens would. It's predictable, it doesn't depend on how hard or how fast you turn the focus ring, like with most of photography lenses. 
There's also an electronic connector at the front for attaching optional accessories. Only one is available right now and that is the manual focusing add-on. That adds hard stops and distant markers and when connected it turns the standard focus ring into the manual aperture ring. You've got tally lamps at the front and the side. Green when camera is idle and turning red when the camera is recording. Nice add-on so you or the talent can see if your camera is actually recording. No silly mistakes when you go to stop recording one hour interview to see that you're actually starting recording them. It happened to me, true story. There's filter thread of 58 millimeter, weather sealing, focus hold button and custom M1, M2 switch. This can be customized to do other things via Samyang optional Samyang lens station, but by default in position one, it does nothing, but it allows to manually focus when the camera is switched on to manual focusing and in position two, it turns the focus ring into a manual aperture ring. Price, all these lenses are budget friendly, especially taking into consideration that they are unique, small, lightweight and auto-focusing cine lenses. This one retails for £450 here in UK or $572 in US. Very decent price for what you have here, a high quality wide aperture telephoto prime. It literally has got no competition as there, are, there is no other 100mm autofocusing cine lens available on the market right now, just this. Conclusion, if you need a wide aperture telephoto prime for video or photography, this could be a very good choice. But this is a lens that is a part of matching set. It really makes sense to use it with others as they all match the optical quality as well as have identical build. This is not traditional cine lens. It's not big and bulky. It's geared are not very prominent and there is no usual distant markers. This is a new breed of a cine lens, one that will make sense to a hybrid shooter, one look out of place on a small mirrorless camera and one that auto focuses well. 100mm is a nice addition to the whole set and a lens that I'm sure will be popular on its own too recommended. And this is it from me. If this video was in some way helpful or informative, if, uh, please give me that thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And it really is, and in the and in the distance. Unusual focal length that needs something very unusual. Take 300. But this is a lens that is a part of matching set. It little you can't pronounce the words, motherfucker.